Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 54 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about map function in Python. So, how this map function can be used in real time scenarios, we need to understand that. So, and this is very useful function. So, please pay some attention here. So, map function actually what it will do, it will take two parameters. First parameter will be the function. For let's assume you created a function called ABCD. So, it will take that function name as a parameter and then iteratable. So, what it will do is from this iteratable object, it can be list, it can be tuple, it can be anything, any any object, it can be string also. So, it will take every item from that iteratable object and that item it will pass into this function and for that every item it will try to execute this function. So, that is what it will do and this will be very useful in real time scenarios. So, let me practically explain you how and why. So, let me go to Visual Studio Code here. So, in the Visual Studio Code, if I explain with a practical demo, you will make sense of it. So, let me clear this here. So, let us assume I have a requirement, I have a list like this, okay, maybe list numbers, okay. And uh, inside this list, I have uh, a list of values, maybe like 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4, okay. So, now what I want to do is, maybe I want to uh, uh, calculate the square root of every item and create a new list. So, maybe like this, for example, for each number in list of numbers so this for loop i am using it here it will take each number into this number variable and inside this maybe what i want to do i want to calculate this number multiply by number that means square root right so 1 into 1 2 into 2 3 into 3 and whatever the output it will create i want to store it into another list so maybe let's assume another list maybe new list okay and this is a empty list right now and inside the loop what i will do inside this new list use on top of this new list i am using this append function to append the items so what it will do is if you closely observe this logic it will take every item from this list into this num variable and it the iteration will go on and inside this what it will happen n into n so that means multiplication 1 into 1 1 will be appended into this new list and then 2 into 2 4 will be appended into two lists so we are generating a completely new list which is like a square root of square of every item in the my old list or existing list so below maybe here what i will do i will simply try to print this new list data whatever we calculated using the for loop so let me save these changes and now if i execute this code if you see i get I, cre I create a new list here one because one into one one then two into two four then three into three nine four into four so it is like a square of every item in the list so if you want to do the same thing using the map function that is even very easy actually so you no need to use this for loop and everything whatever the logic you have inside this loop that means multiply, multiplying the same item with the same number this logic you can take into a function and you can generate the same type of list very easily so how to do that let me practically show you that so for that let me comment this code here control kc to comment that so now what we have we have one list of numbers which contains 1 2 3 4 now what i will be doing i will be creating a new function using this defined keyword my function name is my function to this i am supplying a number variable as a parameter and inside this what i will be doing i, I will be simply returning let's use return return keyword is uh, i need to spell correctly okay sorry return then num multiplied by num so wh what this function is doing it will take any number as a parameter and it will multiply that number with the same value and it will return it so now what i will do here below uh, I will be creating a new list maybe okay let's say new list and in the new list this is going to be a list okay so I am using a list constructor so inside this I am using a map function so as I said map function will take function name first and then the iteratable object so my function is this one my function right so let me take this so for the first parameter of this map function I am passing my function name and then I need to supply the sequence or the iteratable object so list number is my iteratable object so let me supply that here so what it will do from this list it will take every item that means one it will pass that value into this function and this function what it will do it will take one here and it will return one into one and whatever the I, uh, value it will return that will be added into a list okay and same thing the second item from this list will be taken into this function and two into two four that that two also will be added into the list so like this i will be creating a complete new list which will actually multiply the same number with the same number so that means it's like a square so let me save these changes here and now here simply let's try to print this new list whatever I, I created or I had generated here. So let me save these changes. Now if I execute this code you will be seeing the same type of output. See that means 
using this map function i am able to call a function by supplying each every item from the list so this is what the usage of the uh, map function not only one item uh, you can supply multiple list items also here so for your better understanding let me do one thing so let's have i have a list called list list one okay and inside this list one maybe i have so it can be list it can be tuple anything okay so i am using list here you can use tuples also so let's assume i have value call a then b uh, then c okay so three items inside this list and then let's assume i have another list maybe list two and inside this list i have a values called maybe m then n maybe so let me save these changes so now what i can do for this map function i supplied my function name then maybe i am supplying my list to one okay and then i am supplying my list to two so let's supply list to two so what it will do here uh, and here let's assume uh, i am supplying like maybe uh, a uh, x comma y let's assume okay so what it will happen is uh, and here maybe what i will do is i will maybe append both the values whatever i am getting so x plus y so what will happen is this function will take two two variables or two parameters and it will it is simply appending if these parameters are uh, integer types then addition will happen or else concatenation will happen so here list one contains values a b c list two contain values uh, m n so what will happen uh, for the iteratable objects right both so iterations will start so for the first iteration a from the list one m from the list two both will go into this my function and we have the parameters defined to take that values and a a plus b that means a b concatenation okay and then second items will go that means m from the list one n from the list two it will go into this function and it will give you m n and since in the third list you don't have uh, any any item here but in the first list you have item so the third iteration will not happen only two iterations will happen in and it will end the execution there and whatever the items it, it appended here uh, or whatever the values it created here in the function logic that will be added into a list because we are using everything into the list constructor and that new list i am simply printing it here so now what will happen if i run this code it will print a new list which contains values called am bn so let me save these changes and let me run this code now see it created a new list called am and bn why the third iteration not happened because one of the list does not contain a value for the next iteration so it, the iterations will stop there only okay so and if i have another value here so let's assume here if i have o now what will happen all the three iterations will happen in the map function and it will print am bn co so let me save these changes and now let me run this code see it printed am bn co right so this is how it will work so i hope you got the idea right so map function will is very useful where you can pass a sequence or a iteratable object and also a function name and you can make sure that iteratable object will iterate every item with the logic of the function and whatever the output it will return it will return into a object so here i supplied it into a list even i can supply it into a tuple as well so for example i want to get a tuple so what i can do let me save this and if i run this code it is going to give me the tuple so it will simply return a object and that object where you are storing it depending upon that that type of data will get constructed there okay so here i am so storing every item into tuple so tuple will get created so that is what we have seen here so let's go to presentation so the same thing i have examined so here also the two two tuples are getting supplied here both the tuples are iteratable objects and every item will go into this logic of the my function it will execute that okay so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video and you got an idea about how the map function will actually work thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much